Yes. yes. Good afternoon. Thank you. Welcome here to the Cheese Factory Volendam. My name is Dina. And for today, I would like to explain to you how to make a powder cheese. So we have 30 different flavors of powder. But don't be confused about it. So all the cheeses is from powder. Because powder is the recipe of making a cheese. Powder is the original Dutch recipe. The process that is only the process. So there's no such thing like, do you have powder cheese? No, all our cheeses is from powder. So we have 30 different flavors, age and names, but this one is our traditional one, the homemade powder. So homemade powder because we are using the powder's recipe, but the milk that we use is only from here. There are goats not from cows, only here from Valenda. That's why it's a homemade powder cheese. Now, this is the process of how to make this cheese. So the process starts early in the morning with a 400 liters of milk from that big container. So from 400 liters of milk, we will transfer the milk into this mixer and we will heat up the milk up to 30 degrees Celsius. Now when we are the milk already here, we need to mix this kind of liquid. So this liquid is, uh, uh, we call this a magic liquid, her farmers in Volendam, uh, we call this a magic liquid. So this liquid is a natural enzyme that helps the milk turns into a kernel. So this liquid is called rennet. Now, when you pour this liquid to this mixture together with the temperature that we use, the milk will turn like this. That's why they call this a magic. So the milk will turn like this. So we have now two parts. We have the liquid and the solid parts. I will shake a little bit. The solid part, the tiny white piece. So this liquid part is called whey. Whey is from the 90% of the 400 liters of milk, so it's a lot, but we don't need to use that 90% to make the cheese. So instead of throwing it away, we gave it back to the animals. But whey is really healthy, so most people, and Dutch people, love to drink the whey even a long time ago. So they say, uh, they say here in Netherlands that when you drink one glass of whey per day, it will keep your wrinkles away yes right so they have a saying like that so when you try the way i will tell you everybody that it's really disgusting so but a lot of people really drinking the fresh way but this is not fresh anymore so it's more disgusting but i would recommend everybody if you really want to try the fresh way you can go to the farmers to try the fresh way. it's really healthy so now let's put it this out uh, proceed to the solid parts the solid parts of the sample is called herds and that curds eventually will be our cheese. So this curd is from the 10% of the 400 liters of milk. We will only use 10% of the milk to make a cheese because that 90% is we don't need to uh, use right the uh, liquid parts. So this uh, solid parts is the curds. So we will uh, curds will be our cheese and we will put the curds inside this mold. So let's fill it up with the curds. I'm gonna show what's inside the strainer because we don't need the liquid parts and the barcode or the sticker that you know the percentage of the ingredients. So let's put it in it. And let's bring this mold in a pressing machine over here, this one. So it's a modern pressing machine. It will keep on pressing like this for two hours. And then you will pour it like this. But after two hours, our cheeses are still soft, young, and mild. We cannot eat it yet. There's no flavor in it yet. That's Hmm? Think one thing. So this is also vegetarian because we use a special rennet on this. When you use a special rennet, it's from a plant base. Because other cheeses, we, we use animal rennet on it, but this one is from a plant base. It's called a microbial rennet. That's why it's a vegetarian. Now, the last cheese that we have. So do you have an idea what kind of cheese is this? Yes, everybody, this is a small cheese, but don't be fooled or confused. There's no pork or meat involved in this, right? It looks like a sausage, chorizo, or salami, but no pork and meat. It's just a smoked cheese from goat's milk, always white, and cow's milk. So just imagine how we smoke the fish. This is how we made this one, using the cow's recipe, so in a traditional way. Now, 
So that's all the kind of cheeses that we have here, the cheese patty bologna. But if we love to eat cheese every day, or we love to eat cheese every day, I want to show you something about the tools that we are using for the cheese exit. So I know some of you already know this. This is the cheese slicer and a grater. So this slicer we are using this to cut our cheese easily and perfectly. This one, this one. Right? So this is a six weeks of the cheese is really done. Cheese is a special box. Okay, now, so this 